Hi guys! So this is the longer answer to the question what I want to name my kids. And uh, just to make it clear, I don't have any names. Uh, I do have two lists of names that I like, but they're not questions that I want to give to my children. Because I believe that you cannot decide what to call it a kid before it's born because some of the name has to be in the kid, if you can say that. Uh, I've heard a ton of stories about parents who have decided to give their kids this name and then when the kid was born they found out that this name didn't really suit the kid well and they decided on another name that might be a bit better for the kid. And I am myself a perfect perfect example of this because my parents uh, had decided to call me uh, Astrid, which is a Scandinavian name. Uh, but then I was born and they decided to call me Sophie instead. So I'm not going to go into the side on any names before there is a kid born. And also I have a couple of rules. Um, first of all, it needs to be pronounceable or uh, easy to translate into English because uh, I have a friend, this is just an example, I have a friend who is called this. This is pronounced Biagide. And most Americans cannot pronounce this. They often end up saying Birgitta, Birgitta, and just the closest uh, English name would be Bridget. But that's also so, so different from her real name. And I I feel bad for her every, every time they try to say her name. And just they have come up with some weird names for her through the years. So it needs to be pronounceable or easy to translate. For example, my name is pretty easy because the... It's pretty much the same. It's the same name. It's just I think it's the normal version in English would be P H, and my name is spelled with an F instead. And uh, in English, you would say Sophie, but in Danish, my name is Sophie. So my name is good for that translate translation because there is a name in English, and that's like the English version of my name and it's pretty close to my name so uh, people can actually talk to me and say my name when I'm outside Denmark which is nice and I want that for my kids too. And also the name I would like it to be fairly original because I have had a thousand of classes with kids where there's for example two guys called Thomas two guys called something different, two girls called Christina actually and it's so annoying when someone's saying your name but they're actually not talking to you <laughs> so I would like my my kids to have pretty original names which is also one of the reasons why I'm not gonna go read the two lists that I have of names that I like because I've seen friends and there's that scene in Friends where Rachel is going to name her kid, but she doesn't really have any names. And Monica doesn't really want to share the name she wants to name her daughter. But in the end, she ends up doing it. And Rachel uses it, which is the fear Monica had. She didn't want Rachel to use it, but she ended up doing that. Oh, it, it sounds so self-centered when I say it, because there might be a chance that you'll love the names and if you then use them or say them to someone else it, they'll become less original so self-centeredness right here but y'all just have to deal with that the two lists I have the first is boys names all, pretty much all of the boys names I have are based on boys I know in person because I like them, like there is some of them that's from earlier crushes, 
and I'm actually gonna just gonna tell you one, but this is this is only based on a boy that I know, um, a ten year old boy, so he's not one of my crushes. He's just a cute boy. So Sebastian could be one of the names that I would call my kids. Maybe if it fits my kid. And then for girls, there was a kid. There was a name. I wanted to call my kid a while ago. I wanted to call her India, but then I figured out that India would only be cool in Danish because in English, of course, it's just the name of the country, which is weird. That would be the same thing as calling someone three or two and <laughs> two, and uh, like a star or moon or wolf. That's just weird. Uh, so, I'm not going to call my kid that anymore. So, this is the end of this answer. If you want to watch uh, some of the other answers, some of the longer ones, uh, it's all about my first kiss up here. It's all about the first job I ever wanted down here. It's all about my group of school friends up here. And then, nothing else. That's it.